On many of our notebooks, the hard drive is user replaceable. The first thing you'll need to do is remove your battery. While the panels on the bottom of your particular computer may not look exactly like mine, what you're looking for is one on which this hard drive symbol is present. Mine also has a memory symbol here as well, because both components are accessible beneath this one panel. Once you've located the correct panel, remove the screws holding it in place. In my case, I just have two. And when you remove the panel, you should find the hard drive beneath it. Here's mine on the left. Sometimes you'll have more screws holding the hard drive in place, usually here and here. But this isn't always the case, as you can see from my particular computer, but it's still good to double check if they're present in case you need to remove them. Once the screws are out, slide the hard drive away from its connections. It should slide pretty easily. And then you can simply lift it out. You'll need to remove the bracket from the hard drive. There are four screws, two on one side and two on the other. Remove all four of these screws and the hard drive will slip right out. Just slip your replacement hard drive into the bracket and replace the four screws. Now you can insert your replacement hard drive and slide it back. The connections should slide into place pretty easily. Now replace the screws that were holding it in place if there were any, and then snap the back panel back into place. Replace any screws, reinsert the battery, and you're done. If you have any questions, please visit our website, www.acer.com.